हेलो एवरीवन आई एम योर होस्ट आयुषी कारा सेठिया एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल पैबली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ यू कैन शेयर फाइल्स फ्रॉम गूगल ड्राइव टू टेलीग्राम चैनल ऑटोमेटिकली सो फर्स्ट लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट दीस सॉफ्टवेयर एप्लीकेशंस आर ऑल अबाउट सो गूगल ड्राइव इज अ क्लाउड बेस्ड स्टोरेज सर्विस वेयर यू कैन स्टोर शेयर एंड एक्सेस योर फाइल्स ऑनलाइन एंड टेलीग्राम इज अ चैट एंड कम्युनिकेशन प्लेटफॉर्म और यू कैन से इट एज अ मैसेजिंग प्लेटफॉर्म so the idea here is that you are a business owner and you are uploading your business related images in your google drive specific folder and you have a large audience on your telegram channel now you want that whenever you upload a new image or a new document in your google drive folder automatically the same image should be shared with all your audience on your telegram channel and that to automatically for this we need to create a connection between google drive and telegram so in order to create a connection we are going to use a software application named pabli connect so basically pabli connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating google drive with telegram automatically the best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge even a non technical person can use this software application very easily so let us learn the integration process now on my screen Welcome back to my screen. Here, let us type p a b b l y pabli dot com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here, we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option, and you can create your own account in just two minutes. And you are going to get hundred task free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I'll simply click on sign in. In the All Apps section, come to Pabli Connect and click on Access Now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that, come to this plus sign and click on Create Workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give it as Google Drive to Telegram Integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now here we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case we want that whenever we upload some new files in our Google Drive specific folder, automatically the same files or the images should be shared on our Telegram account. For that, just open this trigger window, and we are going to select the application name as Google Drive. So we are going to create a connection between Google Drive and Pabli Connect at the trigger step over here. Now we have to select the trigger event as new file in specific folder. Now let's click on connect. Here we have to click on add new connection and click on connect with Google Drive. Now it is asking me to choose an account to continue to Pabli Connect Drive. So let's choose the account from here. Pabli Connect Drive wants additional access to your Google account. Okay, so let's click on Continue and give away the access over here. Authorization successful. And now the Google Drive account is connected to Pabli Connect. So as we have created a connection here, we can find all the folders that we have created in our Google Drive account. Okay, all these are the folders. So I'll just take you to my Google Drive account where I have already created a folder named to Telegram. Okay, so now I want that whenever I upload a new file to this particular uh, folder named to Telegram, it should be sent to my another application uh, that is on Telegram. For that, I have to just make this folder a shareable one. So click on this share button, and here we have to just click on this change button. and we have to select the option as anyone with the link okay so anyone with this link or anyone on the internet with this link can view so let's click on done okay now we have to move back to public connect and we have to say uh, select the same folder name over here also that is to telegram now before clicking on save and send test request first we have to upload a new file in this particular folder just because after clicking on this option it is going to capture the latest response 
So let's move back to Telegram uh, folder, sorry, Google Drive folder. Here we have to just click on this plus sign, new, and click on file upload. And here I'm going to just uh, select this core integrations image. The image is getting uploaded. Okay, and here we can see the image is uploaded, named core integrations.png. Okay, so let's move back to public connect, and now we are going to click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the file are captured over here. And when we scroll down, here we can find the link, the web content link. Okay, and even when we scroll down, here we can find the file name also, that is core integrations. Now here we can see that in the file name, we have got the extension also, that is .png. But we don't want to send this .png file extension along with the file name to our Telegram channel. So we have to just remove it. Okay, for that scroll down, come to this action step and choose the application name as text formatter. Select the action event as split text. Click on connect. And now it is connected. Now here we have to map the text that needs to be splitted. So we want the file name. This is the title to get splitted. So we have to map this particular title over here. So let us map it from Google Drive, that is core integrations. Now here we have to give the separator. So I am giving the separator as this dot sign, okay. And here we have to select the segment index. So I want the segment index to be the first over here, okay, because I want the first data to be captured. So let us select the segment index as first and click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we have got the file name as core integrations and the dot png file extension is just removed. So now we want to share it on telegram. For that click on this plus sign add action step. Choose the application name as telegram bot. Select the action event as send a document or an image. Click on connect. Click on add new connection. Now it is asking for the token. So you have to follow these instructions to get the token. So I'll just directly take you to my telegram account and here in the search bar we have to search for bot father. Okay, this is the bot father. Click on it. Okay, so here we have to just click on this restart bot button. Now here we have to send a message that is slash new bot. Alright, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So we have to give a name to our bot. So let us give it as Google Drive, Google underscore Drive underscore one. Okay, good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. It must end in the bot. Okay, so here I'm just giving the username that is Google Drive, underscore, Google underscore Drive underscore one underscore bot. Okay, done. Congratulations on your new bot. You will find it at this particular URL. So we have created a new bot and if you want to access it, you can just click it over here. And here we can find our new bot created that is Google underscore drive underscore one. Okay, now let's move back to our bot father. And here we can find the token. So here we have got the bot link and here we have got the token. So we have to just copy this token from here and we have to paste it over here in public connect to create the connection. Okay, and let's click on save. And now the telegram bot is connected to public connect just because I was already logged into my telegram account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your telegram account. Now here it is asking for the chat ID. So you can just follow these instructions to uh, obtain your chat ID or else I will directly take you to my telegram account. Okay. Here I have already created some groups that is public integrations and public team. So now I want all the uh, files to be delivered on this public integrations group. Okay. For that I have to just add the bot over here in this particular group. So I am just going to click on this plus sign add users. And here I am just going to add my bot that is Google Drive 1. Okay. This was my bot. I will be adding this bot as a new member to our public integrations group. Okay. So here we can see that Google Drive bot is added to our group. 
Now we have to give the admin rights to this particular bot for this group that is Pabli integrations. So I will not be able to do it from my telegram web. So I am just using my telegram app from my mobile phone. Okay, so it's very easy. You can just promote it to the admin from the settings option and you can make your bot as admin for this particular group. So it is done now. Now we have to get the chat ID. So here we can find the chat ID that is from the URL. So I'll just copy this number that is dash 78224548. I'm just going to copy it from here and I'll be pasting it over here in Pabli Connect as a chat ID. Okay. Now here it is asking for the caption file UID or the file URL. So we have already got these details from our trigger step, uh, trigger response. Okay. So we are going to map these details now. Okay. Let's scroll down and let us map them one by one. Here we have to map the caption. So we have uh, split the text for using the text formatter. So this will be the caption that is core integrations. And here we have to map the URL or the file ID. For that we have to come to our Google Drive and from here we are going to get a uh, link that is web content link. Okay. Now it is asking for the pass mode. So I am selecting it as HTML and disable notifications. You can select it as per your requirement. I am just keeping it as no. And let's click on save and send test request. Okay, and here we can see the response is received. It means the file is shared on our Telegram group. Let's check it. Okay, and here we have got a new file that is core integrations. Let's open it. Okay, and here we can find the correct image. So in this way, we can see that our integration is working fine and the correct image is shared on our Telegram group. So let's close this window and let's move back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to save this workflow first. Data saved successfully. Okay. So as we have created an automation between Google Drive and Telegram, next time whenever you are going to upload a new file in your uh, Google Drive specific folder, automatically the same file will be shared on your Telegram group. So let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I will just move to my Google Drive folder. And here I am just going to upload a new file by clicking on this plus sign new button. And click on file upload. And let us select the image as new use cases for Pabli Connect. Okay. So the file is uploaded over here. Now let's check our telegram group. We have to just refresh it. And even after refreshing, we can't find the file details shared on our group just because the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response. So let's wait for some time. Okay, and here we can see that after some time the file was shared on our group. New use cases for pabliconnect.png. Okay, so this is uh, the file. Let's open it. Okay, and here we can find the correct images shared. So in this way, our integration is perfectly working fine. Let's move back to Public Connect and I'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now. So I'll just minimize this trigger step as well as the action step also. So first we have created an integration between Google Drive and Public Connect. Then Public Connect has captured all the details of your new file that you have uploaded in your specific Google Drive folder. Then we have used text formatter just because we have got the file name along with the file extension. So using this split text option, we have just removed the file extension from the file name and using these details of the file, automatically the same file or the same uh, image was shared on our Telegram uh, group. And in this way, we have created a successful integration between Google Drive and Telegram using Pabli Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Pabli Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Pabli forum. To check the pricing details of Pabli Connect, you can visit this particular URL. Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.